All right, well, I've been uh, trying to make handles for this this little thing here. Let me kind of get the pad more, and maybe this way, like that. Okay. Anyway, this is a. I found out that's the World War One Mauser bayonet. I think it's 1918 or something around that area, so maybe it was a little after the war. I don't know when they are starting in, to tell you the truth. I'm not up on history. But anyway, I was trying to make handles. So before I made three of these, well, actually I made four. This is the only one that I actually uh, think will work, and it's not even perfect. I'm not much of this handle making business. But these others don't fit the way I want them to, so I'm going to wind up having to cut out another one. I'm starting to run out of my wall over here that's the right thickness. I guess I'll go out and cut a limb off my tree out there and make some some lumber, I guess. Anyway, this we're going to try this. And uh, the way I've been doing it, I've been... Uh, I first had a cardboard pattern I made, and I put that on here. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to make it bigger. We can always work it down. That was the problem. I had it too short a while ago. Or the other time when it goes like this here. I don't know how good you can see this anyway because the lighting for one thing and the white um, table I'm working on here is another thing. It's not too good. So okay, just goes like this and like that. And I'll cut it up over here. And uh, we're gonna get a try here. We won't keep the noise going just too long for you here because I know it's annoying. But again, we use this. Uh, Thing. First, I better put my effect tickle back on here because I can't see too good of that. Okay, first, we'll try cutting this out here. Enough of that malarkey. Now, uh, it's a little bit messy, but the wife will work, so we ain't gonna tell her that. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, that fits there. It's gonna have to have a little working down. Now, here's where the problem was before. I always cut that too short because see, there's a little, probably can't see if there's a little up thing. What we need to do is like a chamfer on the bottom of that, which, uh, we shall attempt to do that, but uh, we ain't gonna leave the camera on for all that. It takes too long, so we'll get back here in a little bit and see what's going on. Okie dokie, well, I gotta cut, I gotta cut that like we saw a while ago. Now I'm just trying to get that thing to fit right in here as best I can. This is a little bit of an angle, and I don't know, I may have almost cut too much already. This has to be cut off back here, and this is a, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work enough for me this time. After making three bad ones, I'm, I'm gonna settle this. Right in here, I don't know if you can see it, probably not. This is kinda, this metal's kinda, like it's been welded or something in here. So I gotta chamfer this down enough to where it'll set right down in here. And we've been using this other little, uh, little sander for that. If it makes noise, I don't run too long or you might run your eardrum back right. Well, I got it's getting closer all the time. I still got a little bit more to take out right out here, especially on this one right up here. Don't want to get too much on the wrong place there. And I can't uh, actually even if I get when I finally get this all worked down to fit, I can't even put them on yet because I gotta order what uh, Buzzsaw refers to as ch Chicago screws, which I didn't know what they were called till that. Went down to fasten all. He's like, I ain't got none of them. Which, uh, he was at least nicer than the guy up there in another town, was it? Other guy up there, that other fasten all up there. He, he ought to be out of business. Ways attitude toward the customers, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this uh, 
This guy looked and he looked on the computer beside I don't have a stock can to order them, but ain't sure what size you're gonna need. So, alright. So, uh, they've got them on eBay that's uh, specifically for bayonets, but may not be for this old one. Well, we've got a massive, I'm gonna machine this one down a little bit with a sander and then I'll get back here in a little bit. Okay, well, I finally got it uh, fitting reasonably good in here, so I might just a touch more off there to make it go. Then I've got to kind of basically round off this area because the top there on there, the other one's pretty much all straight across. It's a little bit rounded, so it's not too sharp. And then I got to find, like I said, I got to find those those things that go through. They use them on holsters and other things, but. Uh, the holes, or I think the guy told me he made them down there from he's a pretty nice guy down there to this fast one. Well, he said they're 1032 standard or M5-8 dash O-8 metric, whatever that means. I have no idea. Probably metric would have been what they would use over there because I don't think they would have uh, you know got a bunch of uh, SAE type screws for German products, but anyway. So that, I'm going to finish fine tuning this down a little bit here, where it still needs just a touch more in here to fit perfect. And then we'll, <clears throat> I'd like to be able to bolt that down and work it all over with it in there, but I don't want to scratch the metal up. So I'll have to do this off outside the, outside, I'm going to do a little bit more polishing right here on this. <clears throat> test it again here. Okay, what we're going to attempt to do now is uh, drill them holes in their exactly the right place. Uh, right about there. But this, this clamp is pretty strong, but it's not going to be holding strong enough. If I, all right, let's see what we can do here now with this. It's about going to hit this. There's one that's uh, correct, which I hope it is yet. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to do this one. I don't mind. I cut a hole through my finger. I'll be the first to know if I do. Uh, I think I'll miss it. think when I get that all rounded over and get the thing in there it's going to be good enough at least it's going to be good enough for me you know it's not perfect I can't imagine during the war them guys had some German guys just sitting there with a pocket knife and a file and sandpaper and cutting a bunch of these out uh, they had some kind of fast way to do it I'm sure even back then and they probably didn't have any high class uh, Hewlett Packard uh, computer to do it either. So I don't know how they done it, but anyway, we're gonna, all I gotta do now is get, uh, get this rounded off where it fits just right. 
and we'll be done. I'm going to go ahead and finish that, but I can't put it together until I get them screws. I don't want to just put rivets in it or anything. That didn't look original. It ain't going to be original anyhow, you know, as far as that is, as far as the value goes, but uh, I'm not into it for the value. I like this old military stuff, old stuff. Like I said, I've got a shotgun there on 97, made in 1904, and still in pretty good shape, you know. Except I probably messed up the value of it when I, I sent it off had professionally refinished, but it's okay, but uh, whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's that. All right, well, we'll get back. I might, uh, when I get around to getting the rest of the stuff for this and everything, I'll go ahead and have a little bit of an update on it then. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.